the yo yo vid. Yo yo dropping, boy. That boy back to dropping. This is three tender girls, one guy. Nice little hunk of 16 minutes. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get into the uh let's get into the video, man. If you're scrolling around on dating apps and they start suggesting you girls that live 50 to 80 miles away, I'm gonna need you to stop swiping and start shooting, bro. You ran out of whole scare. There are plenty of fish in the sea. And you caught none of them face yeah. but I'm in the same boat with you. In 2020 to 2021, I was on Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, heavy, bro. And this is what I looked like. Only screen I should have been tapping was the one on a treadmill. I could not pull a girl if she had a handle attached to it. So neither is Jesus Christ. I couldn't put a pull a girl if she had a handle. It. Jesus Christ. Yo, <laughs> my boy was, you know what I'm saying? My boy, my boy was going through it. I mean, I should have been tapping was the one on a treadmill. I could not pull a girl if she had a handle attached to it. So needless to say, on dating apps, I was not matching with girls who had options. I was matching with girls who lived in the middle of nowhere. Well, that's a good thing, because I don't want some harlot who has options in my Bugatti. Wrong. Bugatti. Obviously, I don't want to talk to some girl who has the whole U.S. census in her IG DMs, but I would rather get picked from someone's options than to be someone's only option. Because when you're the only person that someone is talking to, they will attach to you strong and fast. And, fast. and that's yeah. just a recipe for disaster. So I matched with this girl who lives in a small town in Texas about an hour away from me. We talked here and there and I knew she was feeling me, but like since there was such a distance in between us, none of us really took it seriously. But this one day I got a text from her saying that she would be on 6th Street with some college friends. Now 6th Street is this long road in Austin, Texas. Man, 6th Street, man, listen, man. I, we went to, well, we went to Austin for fucking three That motherfucker got bars on, like, yo, you can club hop through that motherfucker. That is a club hopping ass street. I ain't gonna lie though. I was having fun. Bar to bar? I was having fun. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was in one guard, one bar turning up. I got me a drink. Couldn't take the drink out. Pushed that shit back. Went into another one. You know what I'm saying? We was having fun. I ain't gonna lie. Texas that's just riddled with like different clubs and bars and stuff. And at the time I lived downtown on 6th Street. If you see me never doing that again but the stars aligned i mean we were gonna finally meet so, you know i had to hit her with something suave you know what i'm saying i hit her with the without me told her that if she came nah, a couple hours no. early i could take her out and show her around town a little bit i didn't want to go clubbing with her because i don't drink and i don't smoke and i've tried the whole being the sober guy at a club thing yo yo oh my god you can't take me anywhere i'm so fun. not for me so she, she got a juice box <laughs> man chat and you know what? It's not, he don't drink or smoke for like, for like any like extra reason besides that he's never done it. So he just chooses to not do. Like if he would have had a drink as a kid, he probably would have been drinking, but he doesn't drink. So there's no point in drinking right now. Yo, oh my God, you can't take me anywhere. I'm so fucked. Not for me. So she pulls up already wearing her club clothes and trust me, Trust me, I did not mind. But taking her on a cafe date at 12 p.m. was definitely a very interesting experience. But that aside, she was mad cool, funny, we got along, like we had a good time. We walked around the town and stuff. I took her back to my crib, but then eventually it was time for her to go out and party with her friends. Oh my God! God. And I did not go. But after that, she texts me that she had a good time. She goes back home and she came to Austin to party with her friends often. So we actually ended up meeting a good two or three more times every time she came to have fun with her friends. This one night I get a text from her saying, hey, I'm going to be clubbing with some friends. I was wondering if I could come over, but I had an animation to finish that night. So I tell her I couldn't and she doesn't respond. So I assume Damn. she's just partying with her friends and stuff. So I go back to work, but some time passes and I get a message so long that it makes the declaration of independence oh, look no. like a suggestion of downtime. If I got to scroll twice to read some shit, I'm not reading it. But I didn't even <laughs> have to read this whole script that she sent me because the use of capital letters and the curse words showed me that she wasn't fucking with me at the moment. Now, I know she's drunk right now and the way I move, anytime I woman tells me something while she's drunk i always take it with a grain of salt so i tell her yo have fun tonight let's talk about this tomorrow and she doesn't respond a couple hours later i get a call from her asking if i could pick her up because apparently she left her friends to go blow off some steam and now she's girl you left your friends to go blow off steam but you're calling me to come pick you up after you just cursed me hey man women man Women. Women. 
she's lost and drunk and scared. Even though I was really busy at the time, I, I still care about this girl. I didn't want anything to happen. She's alone. And I knew she was on 6th Street, so I didn't mind the five minute drive to pick her up. So I asked for the address of where she's at. And she's somewhere in North Austin. In what universe does leaving my friends to blow off some steam translate to going 30 minutes up north? Now I'm mad because I gotta go on a whole commute to pick her up and a whole commute to come back home. And I should be animating this video that I gotta be dropping the next day. I really should have hit her with the niggas die every day and let her yeah, fend for herself. Right. But instead I got in my car and I started driving. So I'm on the highway for a good like 10 minutes and then I get a call from oh yo where are you I'm on the way i'm like 15 minutes away 15 what i'm on 6th street <laughs> what are you talking about the address you sent me was in north austin i'm partying obviously i'm on 6th street why didn't you say anything clearly the address was wrong hurry up i'm scared oh my god <sighs> deep breath so after finding out that it's my fault that she sent me the wrong address, I hit a U-turn and I start heading to where she actually is, which was five minutes away from my crib. I pull up and she's there with like three other girls drunk talking about, hey, my, my friends need rides home too. Oh, deep. <laughs> yes. Listen. I only deal with people when they're like, Unless you my friend and I really fuck with you. And once you're a certain past level of drunk, I can't do it. Because when I get drunk, I don't get loud. And I get quiet. And I observe it. I'm trying to make sure people don't think I'm too drunk. Type shit. When people think I can't handle myself. So I get quiet and observe it. So if I can't, like, look at how glizzy. Look. <laughs> hey, chat. Real quick. This nigga Yo-Yo, an L owner. I'm finna start a petition. To get Glizzy, you know what I'm saying, out of the out of the clutches of this man right here. Uh, you feel me? I'ma start a petition to get Glizzy out the clutches of, you know what I'm saying, of Yo-Yo. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna put his business out there, but like hashtag save Glizzy is for sure needed type shit. Cause like I thought, I thought, you know what I'm saying? I you know, you know. My car is now a city bus. I'm playing crazy taxi if all the characters were drunk college. Homies. I drop one friend off here. I drop another one off there. This one wants to get food. I drop this one off there. And eventually it gets to me and her in the car. Now I'm not saying anything. No music. No, I haven't given this girl a name yet. We're going to name her B. I eventually get to B's college friend where she stays with when she goes clubbing. Get there. I tell her good night. And she hits me with the, I'm not tired yet. You better watch some white noise or George Lopez. Or something. Good night. Tell her to leave. And she's like, no. And I'm like, huh? And in this moment, it was almost as if she sobered up completely because she says in a serious tone for the first time of the night, I know if I leave, you'll never talk to me again. And hearing this gives me a look into the perspective of this girl. I mean, she wanted to hang out with me and she just wants to feel heard and loved. And she doesn't want me to never talk to her again. So I'm trying to get her out of the car so I can never talk to her again. And she <laughs> is not budging at all, bro. We're arguing. She's crying. I'm trying to get home. I get tired of it. So I just turn the car off, get out, and just wait by the front door of the dorm. Mind you, it's been like an hour now. Oh, so my work nah. shit is yeah. completely out of the Yeah, I would have did the same shit. Crazy grill trip, right? Not, not you trying to gaslight. You cursed me. You made me drop off all your friends. I, you sent me the wrong address. Bro, I am so done with this situation. Get the fuck out. The question. I'm and I'm mad me. about that because now she's not only playing with my time, but she's playing with my money. I won't be able to finish the video the next day. So I'm, I'm not hearing her out at all. I'm waiting by the door and she's just staying in the car. And I swear like 10 minutes pass and nothing happens. But then I see her try to hop from the back seat into the driver's seat. And at that moment, I was like, now it's my chance. So I rush over to the door, open it and try to grab her out of the car. I grab her arm and she starts screaming hysterically, bro. And I took the fattest of steps back because that shit looked crazy there's people on the side of the road looking at me crazy i'm, I'm nope I'm, I'm done <laughs> so i completely leave the car alone and go back to the front door and i'm trying to like think if there's anyone that i know that she knows that i could hit up i'm like replaying all of our conversations in my head trying to oh, think of something nah. and i remember her college friend who lives in the dorm her name is anaya so i go through her following type in anaya's name as she pops up so i shoot her a dm like yo can you get your friend she's in my car she's not leaving and thank god she answered bro so she comes down goes to the car talks to her takes another like 15 minutes grabs her out of the car and they go home and i skirt the fuck out of there bro i get on the road and b starts sending me texts 
ex apologizing profusely. And I'm looking at this shit like, it's gotta be the craziest situation I've ever been in with a girl. That was until I matched with another girl who makes B look like the Virgin Mary. So this one time after a long tiring day of scaring all the local hoes, I matched with this girl who lived in a small town. And we ended up hitting it off. And we did so well that we actually ended up FaceTiming that night. I'm not gonna say her pictures didn't look good, but she definitely looked way better than I expected. And that was a red flag, cause when you're ugly, finding a cool attractive girl that actually likes you feels like finding a nice car for a cheap price on Facebook yeah. Marketplace. You be looking at it. Too good to be true, bro. Like, in a way, in a way you like me. Like, you lying for real. You lying. Like, you gotta be like a salvage title or something. Like, it's too good to be true. I'm gonna need the Carfax. I didn't really have any options, so I continued to see it through. And she ended up being really cool. We had the same interests, humor, all that. Talked for a couple hours, we end the call, and then she ends up sending me this whole paragraph about how much fun she has. And she ended it with, I really like you, colon three. Or is that called a colon bracket? I don't know. It was a heart nonetheless. Now at the time I appreciated that and I thought it was really cute. But little did I know that was gonna be the beginning of a nightmare. So we keep oh, it pushing, shit. texting every day, calling every day, good morning text, good night text, the whole thing. And the more we talk, the closer we get. We do this for about a week and eventually we end up planning a link up. I give her my address, she gives me her address, we're talking about it and I find out that this girl lives three hours away from God, me, bro. That's six hours there and Damn. But I got the rose gold shades on, so I agree to pick her up and take her to my place for the weekend. So the week goes on, and that's the day that I'm supposed to- Oh, y'all was finna- <laughs> Hey, listen, ain't no way I'm driving three hours to pick you up, driving three hours back, and I don't got coochie on the braid. I'm sorry. I'm just- It's not happening, bro. It's not happening. There had to be some type of agreement. Uh, six hours? Hey. You know? You, uh, bro, if you're not handing up the pool, I'm not, and you staying at my house, my house for the weekend? Man, listen. Man, listen. You don't, now listen, you don't gotta give it up, but you're not staying here either, type shit. Cause ain't no way I drove three hours to pick you up. Drove three hours home, and then after the weekend, I gotta drive, drop you off, and then go back home? That's 12 hours of driving for some Pune. Yeah. 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 Ch 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 to pick her up approaches, the reality is I'm an animator and this stuff takes time. Driving six hours for anyone really just doesn't align with my career goals. And I didn't want to lead her on because if we linked, we would end up getting even closer and then maybe she'll want something more, which I would not be able to give her, especially with the distance in between us. So as gently as I could, I tell her all that. <laughs> She was not feeling none of that, bro. <laughs> you just don't like me. No, no, it's not you. You're all the same. I'm sorry. Why can't I just drive to you? No, I don't want her to drive to me because once again, I don't want to lead her on. I tried to explain that to her, but she is fixated on pulling up. She's saying, we'll make it work. I'll drive. We go back and forth. She gets in her car on the phone and I am practically begging her to go back into her house. Eventually, <gasps> I get tired of it and I end up telling her, yo, do not pull up to my crib. If you do, I will not answer the door. Good night. She gets out of her car, goes back into the house, and hangs up on me. I go to sleep and I wake up the next day hearing nothing from her. So I'm thinking she needs some space. So I go on about my day. I get some work done. I go to the gym. I'm doing my thing there. And then I get a call. I look at my phone and I see that it's her. So I pick it up and I hear nothing but her crying, bro. She is hysterical. So I'm in the middle of the gym trying to get her to tell me what's going on. And through her sob, she tells me that she got into a car accident. Now me not oh, even shit. thinking about yesterday, I asked her, yo, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Do you need me to stay on the phone? No, I need you to come here though, because I'm in your house in my what house. what are you talking about she shares her location and it's at my house so i'm on the phone like what do you mean accident what did you hit and she goes what? right back to crying bro she is not saying a word i hang up on her and i get in my car and i speed to where she's at and the whole time i'm in the car i'm just thinking about how i told her not to pull up and she pulled up Oh, it got into no. an accident. I turned the corner of my street expecting to see the worst, and I see your car, and that hoe is in pristine condition. Not oh, a dent in sight. I get Oh, this bitch is crazy. Oh, this bitch is crazy. So not only did you pull up when I told you not to, you faked an accident. Oh God. Get out the car looking for Mermaid Man, thinking she hit the invisible boat mobile or some shit. Her car door swings open. She comes to me crying, talking about, I just really wanted to see you. I really wanted to make this work and you weren't hearing me out. And That's checks, me, bros. 
like she got me. Oh, I didn't fuck up the camera with that, but that was my first time meeting her, by the way. Craziest first no, no, impression no. of someone I've ever gotten in my life. She got me though. Like I'm in this parking lot looking dumb as hell. So I'm not even saying anything to the girl. I go on my car and she's like banging on my window and shit, but I just drive. I couldn't really go anywhere far because the crazy ass girl was at my crib, but I left for a couple hours. I come back. Car is not there. I check Instagram and like Tinder and stuff, and obviously I'm blocked. And we never talked again. The thing is, I actually don't even think that girl is crazy. It's just that's what happens when you have no options. You fall hard and you fall fast. And I'm no exception to that. Growing up, I wasn't really seen as attractive by the girls in my class. So when I got older and was on Tinder and was finally getting attention from women, a very few amount of them, mind you, that was enough for me to even go crazy. And yeah, I had a problem with attaching really fast. Now I'm not gonna say I did crazy stuff like that, but it would really get me in my feelings. Oh, Back nah. in like 2019, I matched with this girl, one named Callie. Now this had to have been like my third or fourth first date like ever. We meet at this boba spot and the date was, it was all right, but we didn't really click like that. So we kind of just went our separate ways. Now some time passes and I matched with this girl who I named Jasmine. Now Jasmine had to have been the baddest girl I've ever matched with, bro. She was so dry. Bro, she could not hold a conversation to save her life. Hey Jesus. you, money in the bag. Okay. Okay. And because of her dryness, I could not lock down a date. It was impossible to talk to the girl. But it's one day I'm working on a video and I get a text saying, hey, I'm going to be at the downtown park taking a walk. You trying to come along. So I'm like, my soldiers push forward. Yeah. My soldiers scream out. Yeah. My soldiers rage. Yeah. I'm sure I'm down. Now, this is before I had a car, but I still lived downtown and the park was like a two minute walk away. So I make my way there and she texts me that she's in the parking lot. I'm in the parking lot too and I'm looking for her, but I don't see anyone but a man in this old couple. So I text her, yo, where are you at? I don't, I don't see you. And she stops responding. So I just make my way to the park and the man that I saw earlier stops me. They stop me and say hello. And after hearing the voice, I realize it's not a man, but it's a girl with really short hair. Hey, yo, yo, long time no see. Huh? I'm in my head like, it, it has been a long time no see. Cause I have never seen you in my <laughs> life. Now, I'm confused as to how this random girl knows me, but like, I, I, I'm not trying to be rude. So I'm like, you know, hey, how's it been? Da, 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 da. I'm trying to bullshit the conversation. The whole time though, I'm on my phone waiting to see if Jasmine's gonna hit me back, but she hasn't hit me in like 15 minutes at this point. So I'm like, I got one, I got stood up and two, I got to talk to this girl who is not leaving. She is talking to me like we are long lost friends, bro. I don't know this girl. That is until she says, hey, I'm glad you can make it. Are you ready to go on this walk? Yo? This was the girl I was texting the whole time. And no, Jasmine did not catfish me. Let me explain something real quick. As I stated earlier, I struggled with attaching to women too fast. Yo, and something I would do to counteract it was I would not save a girl's number if we hadn't met three times. Also, if I didn't have your number saved, anytime we talk, I'd delete the conversation to keep myself from double texting. And this method usually works because I don't talk to multiple women at a time. So when I got that, let's go to the park text this morning, I assumed it was Jasmine because she was the only girl I was talking to. I have no clue who this random ass girl is. But we go on the walk and she's like holding my hand and shit. So apparently we <laughs> met. I, I want to say we were walking for like 15 minutes. And I swear the whole time I was just trying to connect dots to figure <laughs> out who this girl is. Damn. Listen, that's why you got to say at least a contact photo or something, gang. Shit. Now you just, hey, you know, we're Red Easy's type shit. Eventually, we get to the top of this hill and sit down. And like, I'm trying to build up the courage to ask her what her name is, but she hits me with the most clutch alley oop that she could. Hey, I know you go by Yo Yo, but what's your real name? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I do go by Yo Yo, but my name's Johannes. You got any nicknames? Oh, my name's Callie. Callie? Huh? Nothing. Yeah, my name's <laughs> Callie, but I've been going by Cal lately. It was the boba date girl, bro. The date was so ass that I forgot her. And the thing is, she cut her hair so much that she was completely unrecognizable to me. And of course, since we only went on one date, I never saved her number. So after finally realizing who she was, I was able to actually give the date my full attention. And we had a great time, bro. She, I don't know what was going on the first date, but we were vibing completely differently this time. And she was actually an artist, an animator even. So we went back to my place. We made an animation. We chilled and we had a blast she goes home and i break my rule i save her number and i'm telling y'all bro at this time of my life something switched in my head when i saved someone's number bro i got extremely attached that night i can't lie so much so that i sent her a whole paragraph so oh y'all dog come on. yo yo bro on a date with kelly osborne <laughs> Oh, yo, yo, come on, man.
talking about how much fun I had. And she was like, I had fun too. And in that moment, it was smooth. We actually ended up meeting like three or four more times. But as time progressed, she started slowly backing off. Her response times became sparse. Her responses became dry. And that's usually a sign to back off and charge it to the game. You said charge. <laughs> I went full throttle, bro. I got oh to double, triple, quadruple texting. Like, I was running up an air combo no. on the Street Fighter, bro. It was not a good look, bro. I was bothering this girl. So much to the point where I ended up getting left on red and unfollowed Damn. on IG. And I can't lie, that shit hurt. And the worst part about that shit was that I still could not get Jasmine to go on a date with me, bro. I was blown. I ended up deleting Tinder. So time passes after that and life starts looking good again. And I actually end up going to get my first tattoo. The one on my hand. So I park on the side of the street and I make my way to the shop. I'm walking and I see this girl. It was this really, really beautiful girl holding hands with this, what I would assume was a girl as well. But she had a shaved head and like a tattoo sleeve. And as I made my way closer to him, I realized uh. it was fucking Cali, bro. And I'm just scoping the scenery. She has a bag on her with a pin that has the flag when i saw that it just started connecting bro the two haircuts curving me the going by a cow my game was so bad that this girl switched teams now that would have been fine and dandy but the part that got me is she switched teams and started pulling better bitches than me bro the girl that is crazy Nick, yo damn you know Damn. Hey, charge, charge. That's a hell of a charge to the game. That's a hell of a charge. To, that's like a, that's like a, that's like probably the biggest charge ever. Hey, they, we do. We do be pulling. I, 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 I we, we, we be pulling, but fuck. Charge that shit to the game, man. Maja? Bonnie? All right, hey, be who you are. Let's get Riley. Girl, she was with was fine as fuck. I was sick. Let me preface something really quickly, bro. No transphobia. I have genuine love for everyone. This situation was just funny to me. Now, <laughs> but at the time, bro, I was in the trenches, bro. No amount of Juice World, XXX, and Tacion, and 2 a.m. driving could get me out of this rut, bro. I was sick. <laughs> the moral of these three stories: Don't scare the bitches, because one day the bitches might scare you back. That is crazy work. That's crazy work. You know what I'm saying? Charge it to the game, yo, yo. Hold on. Hold on. What's up, brother? Oh, oh you bought okay. some Apple headphones? Oh. I had to. I had to. Okay, okay. I see you. You know what I'm saying? Flex. Bro, I had to, bro. I had to. Left, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga, so he's so rich. He leaves his headphones a couple hours away and was like, all right, let me right. blow 600 and buy some Apple ones type shit. That's some real rich shit. But anyway, no, nah, nah, before you even... Headphones in your Mach-E, your, your 2022 Mach-E, that, that leave them in there? No? Oh, shit. Were they by your Jordan Retro 4s? Oh, no? Oh, okay. All right, what's good, bro? What's good, bro? So how's it feel? Like, all right, let me, here, let me, let me take it back. How bad was she? Which one? <clears throat> the one that you couldn't get, but your ex date, the one you was now bad over, you know what I'm saying? She you talking about Jasmine? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the girl that Cali pulled, like how bad, like on a scale of. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Nigga, the way I drew her in the video was pretty similar to the way she fucked, bro. She was. Uh, she had one of them, bro. You know what does it for me, bro? When girls had those damn beads around their waist. Oh, she had a, Especially when they're uh, black. Oh, oh she, she had one of those? Girl. She pulled a black. She pulled one of them artsy joints, bro. 
Oh, not the artsy. Oh, that be burning incense and shit. The artsy ones that listen to Earth, Wind, and Fire and Erica by Doom, bro. Drinking tea and shit? Oh, damn. I didn't even know they went for those, bro. Damn. Damn. When she cut her hair, she looked like Rob Kierdek, bro. I was sick. I was sick, bro. Damn. You ever watch Breaking Bad? Yeah, she yeah. She looked like, she looked like motherfucking, well, Jesse? what was his name? She looked like Jesse, bro. I was so blown. I was <laughs> bro, when I, bro, I don't think I did the story justice, bro. Like, I was in my room. What's that Drake song? And we rolling. What's that oh, song? Um, and we rolling. I know it's, I know it's, uh, I came uh, to uh, uh, deep pockets. Deep yeah. Pockets, bro. That was my shit, bro. Damn. That's crazy. Nah, Earth, you, damn, uh, Earthy? She pulled the Earth, a uh, Earthy. She pulled one of them, bro. Damn. They probably still together to this day, bro. I ain't going lie. I didn't even know they were. Yo, y'all go for those? I ain't even know. Bro. Hey, man, listen. I ain't even know. If I, bro. if I, I'll be honest with you, bro. If I showed you my lineup, you'd be like, damn, you got a hell of a lineup. I ain't gonna lie. My lineup uh, is really? crazy. It might be t- I might need to grow out this fro and get some butterfly locks, bro. So but that's what it takes. So you know what I'm saying? My I, I that's the one thing I will say. My lineup is crazy, forever crazy. Bro, that's you know what it is? It's not fair though. It's not fair though. Cause you 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 can pull women cause you got all the cards in your head, bro. For sure. It's like it's like when you level up in a game and go back to level one. Damn. It's not fair, bro. It's not fair, bro. <laughs> It's not, it's not fair, bro. But you like, so like, what's the, what's the next, what's the next uh the the glow up the next transition? What's your, what you what you know what I'm saying? Simba is a gay cheat code. All right, man. Oh my God, though, and she, bro. So you have the you, you got to hear the abilities you got, bro. Okay. You got the abilities of an older nigga because girls like older men. You got the abilities of a light skin. You got the abilities of a dreadhead. You're tatted, and you got bread. You fucking army man! That hey. shit is not fair. That shit, hey, I nigga. can't compete. I'm six three and I still can't compete. You can, you can, compete. you can. No, if we go, say we're both talking to a girl and she goes both ways, you got it. You got it. I can't compete. You I can. Can't compete, bro. All right, so all right, so we. Thank God, I can't compete. We we need to find a you know what I'm saying the next uh the next stage in in the glow up to figure out you know what I'm saying to set you apart. Oh, the next thing I need. Bro, it's the braids. It's the braids? It's the braids. I ain't gonna lie, when you had the braids, you was my, cooking. I need to get my damn beard to connect, bro. You Would you ever go goatee? No, I tried. That's how I fucked up my beard. That's why I had to cut it. It didn't look good. Bro. Go to a barber, nigga. Okay. Try hey, to... man, some of, us, some of us are less fortunate, bro. That was like, that would be like $25. You just spent $600 on a pair of headphones, yo, yo. Because yours, no, 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 no. And what's crazy is they offered to ship it to you. I got the group message. Yo, yo, you left your headphones. What's your address so I can ship it to you? So they was going to get shipped. You just so spent $600. Fire, you know what I'm saying? I don't like this shit, though. This shit kind of ass. I wish you could turn it off. Yeah. But, like, the noise cancellation hard. It is hard, you know what I'm saying? Cancellation Chat, yeah, I walked into the room, on. right? I walked into the room. This nigga had a pair of AirPods on. I said, oh, you got, you got some AirPods. Okay. <laughs> this nigga turns to me. Unsolicited. I ain't even asked him. <laughs> nigga turns to me and goes, oh, yeah, I stole your headphones, by the way. Puts it back on and gets back to draw. I said, it's... Because it's like, what you going to do? You going to take them back? I mean, maybe. Maybe. Hey, that's a lot of maybe. I ain't going to lie. You know, I was being nice, though. You know what I'm saying? I was being nice. You feel me? I go lie, chat. I go lie. I don't even know what I was gonna say. I just go. I was no, about to talk we shit. Gotta, we gotta acknowledge the fact that you're actually broken. Like your dead has got an infinity stone for. No, 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 no. I have like, one someone, downgrade. Someone gotta draw you with like an infinity gauntlet because it's five of them, right? You a light skin. You older. You rich. You're a dreadhead. I'm not rich. And you got money. Oh, I said that's, rich. That's and you got same, money twice. There was another one. I don't remember. Oh, and you're a girl. You're a girl. It. Bro, that's. That's five X attributes, bro. Listen, listen, no, but serious? like it cancels out because I'm fat. If I, bro, if I lose the weight, bro, it's Ain't over. Funny fat niggas win all the time. <laughs> what are you talking about, Drewski? Are you serious? Hey, you know, listen. All I'm saying is, once if I get unfat, You're bro, a kid. 
It's if I get unfast, it's over. Fact don't care, don't count cause funny. Listen, man. Let, let me make that meal plan for you, bro. Hey, you know what I had today for lunch? Thai shit. Thai shit what? I had me a little two to join. A little two to join, you feel me? What season you put in? What season you put in? Just some salt and pepper. On the, salt and pepper. Yeah, salt. you know what I'm some saying? Some basic shit. Some basic shit. Yeah, some yeah. And then uh, for dinner, I had some like some steak strips with vegetables and potatoes. I don't know how crazy this is going to sound. It's not that crazy. Cauliflower rice, bro. I'm telling you, makes it way more delicious. I, 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 I tried to like... You gotta saute. You gotta saute. You gotta, you saute. gotta saute. Okay, because like I was just getting, I was getting the bag get ones and I was eating it up, and I'm like, this is just not. No, no, no. You gotta saute it and get a crust around the the um, cauliflower rice. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. God. Valid. Valid. But yeah, I'm not putting you on any more game, bro. I gotta catch up, bro. Like I think, how do I even catch up? I gotta get a Hellcat. For sure. I gotta get a Hellcat. That's the only way I catch up to you. If you like, okay, so get a Hellcat. I feel like the braids, the Hellcat. You buff, you know what I'm saying? And we got we got to get you some ankle support shoes. And then I feel like after Have that. Have a great stream. Huh? Have a great stream. Like, just if you just, like, get some ankle support shoes. We got to get you some motherfucking antibiotics so your ass don't stop getting sick all the damn time. Tell him how you drop your uh glizzy. Tell him how you drop. <laughs> Tell him I'll use the one on the trip that needed a retwist. <laughs> oh yeah. gonna put your uh glizzy in the trunk you said you uh, yeah 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 you was gonna put him in this to... huh i i tried to play an answering machine but my headphones automatically connected oh yeah so i didn't even hear it ah ha ha yeah yeah <sighs> you try to put him in the tr he's hung up on me not the gross negligence i think it was trying to put the glizzy in the trunk and said and, and took his laptop back and was like shit glizzy don't make me no money with this laptop, dude. I said, if you don't fucking take him, I said, if you don't fucking take him and put him in the front. Hey, I go lie. Same no. Same no. Low key. Same though, because y'all don't make me no money, no, much, no fucking money to be costing this much.